Hey everyone, it's already July 1st, so that means it's time for monthly favorites. Um, I have a lot of beauty products and a couple just random miscellaneous products, and I even have some shitty products and one product I'm on the fence about. But without further ado, let's just get started on my favorites. My first favorite that I've been absolutely in love with this month and I've been using it almost every day is the Lorax Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. It looks like this. And all of the colors are just like super awesome and super, super pigmented. Uh, it has shimmers and matte colors in it as well. And even better, it came with another one of my favorites this month and it is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Um, I definitely like this a lot more than the Urban Decay one. It doesn't feel as oily and disgusting on my face. And make sure to stay tuned into my channel because I'm going to be making a review video slash swatch video and maybe even do a couple of makeup looks with this palette as well. So the next thing that I've been loving this month is the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner. Um, it is matte and I have it in the shade Fresh Limeade and it just looks like this. I'll do a little swatch of it. It is really, really, really bright and fun. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram and Twitter use bright colors um, on their lash line when they do like nude lipsticks, just kind of for like a splash of color. And I definitely recommend this Sephora brand um, to achieve that. It lasts all day. Um, and it goes on super, super, super easily. It doesn't feel like um, a regular like eyeliner. It's a lot more creamier and it like has kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a crayon, but like softer. But yeah, I definitely, I've only tried this color, but I definitely recommend it. Um, I do want to go back and get like every single color that they have because I just love this so much. The next thing that I'm loving this month is the um, NYX High Voltage Lipstick in the shade Playdate, which is just this really, really pretty lavender color. I'm gonna do a swatch for you guys. Um, it is super, super, super fun, um, and it is so pigmented, like literally one coat and like you're good to go. Um, these come in basically every single color that you could imagine. Um, they are not matte. I feel like they are more of a satin finish. Like, not quite matte, but not quite, like, lip gloss, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend checking the NYX High Voltage lipsticks out. So the next thing that I'm loving, surprisingly, is another not matte lipstick. And is the... Mal Milani Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stain in 01 Red Control. And it has like a little, it looks like a little crayon and it has like the bristles there and it is a twist up. And then you just like put it on. It's kind of like dried out because I haven't used it in a while. Here we go. and it is super pigmented. I literally, I got this for like $2 at um, CVS and I'm in love with it. I have not loved a gloss in a long, long time and I was so surprised about how amazing this is. So definitely if you're looking for a gloss or if you're just looking to try out a new lip product, I definitely recommend the Milani Power Lip. Okay, so my last like makeup product for this month are these eyelashes. Um, I got them from Daisyo um, when I was in California and I've been loving them. Um, I've never really used fake eyelashes before, but these ones are just super, super cute and they make me feel like I'm, a, I'm an anime character, so I love, love, love wearing them. I bought three or four of these because I don't know the next time that I'm going to be able to go to Daisyo and I don't know where to get these online. So if you know, 
please tell me. So I have more kind of personal hygiene-ish products. Um, the first one is this Bath and Body Works Fine Mist Body Spray in Eucalyptus Spearmint. It is literally the greatest scent ever because it's not like floral, but it has like really soothing kind of like spa scent, which is what I really like because I don't want, I don't like body sprays because I feel like I'm like a seventh grader, like spraying myself like in the girls locker room. But this definitely has more of like an adult smell. I just, I just love it. I love it so much. And it was only $4 because Bath & Body Works was having like this bomb ass sale. And I literally, I could not pass up buying something. So I'm really, really glad that I got this. Um, I hope this is like a permanent scent because like, I haven't really made a dent in it, but like when I run out, I'm gonna be pissed if I can't buy more of it. Well, the next thing is something I've never tried before, but I've heard a lot about. It is um, Hunky Colors. Uh, I heard that you could get these at Ulta and I had no clue, but they don't have any of the greens at my local Ulta. Um, I ha am using Alpine Green, which is what is in my hair today, and I don't think I've dyed my hair in over a week, which is really crazy for me because I usually dye my hair like weekly, um, but I love this color. Um, it smells like grapes and I think I just got some on my nose. I did. Awesome. My nose is- oh, I wiped it on my sheets. Oh well. Um, I really love this color because it looks awesome like straight out of the tube as well as like diluted. Um, and it dilutes really really well so you can make this product last a lot longer for you. But I definitely recommend trying out pumpkin colors. I'm really glad I splurged and purchased this when I was on my vacation. And the last kind of thing that relates to like your body is this hemp lotion. This is a new scent that they have. It's exotic green tea and uh, Asian pear. Um, it says body plus mine. I don't know what that means. But I'm obsessed with lotions and this one just smells like so clean and like refreshing and like the fragrance isn't too extreme. Like it's there but it's not like BAM in your face right there. And it, it makes my skin feel awesome. Hemp's is definitely like my favorite lotion um, because a lot of them feel like waxy. I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but if definitely if you've not tried out Hemp's lotion, I recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to some food favorites. Um, food and drink, I have one of each. So the first thing are these watermelon gummy candies. I also got at Dazio and literally these are like the greatest things of my life. They're gluten free. Um, I have no clue where to get them in Phoenix. So if you would be kind enough to let me know so I can eat an entire bag in one sitting, that would be great. And the other thing is I've been loving lemonades. Um, this is the Calypso Ocean Blue Lemonade. Um, it's blue raspberry flavored. I also love the peach flavored one too. Um, these are literally so good. Um, I don't know why I haven't like drank them earlier because I love lemonade. Um, yeah, get these at your local Circle K or QT. <laughs> Whatever. And some more random crap favorites is this like strawberry dust plug. It's like a butt plug, but for your phone, and it like cleans your phone screen. I would show you, but I'm using my phone right now. Um, I also got this at Daisio, and it was only a dollar fifty because it's basically like a Japanese dollar store. And yeah, I really like this because it makes my phone really big and obnoxious, and I can locate it inside of my purse really easily. And it also keeps my screen clean. And the next thing are these sunglasses. And I, they're actually sent to me by one of my followers, and I literally, I wear them all the time. Um, someone told me they're like knockoff like Prada glasses, and someone was being really rude. They're like nice knockoff Prada glasses. Like I had no clue. They just like bomb on me. And they look cool. So, fuck you. And my last 
miscellaneous favorite, actually second to last miscellaneous favorite, is this headband from American Apparel. It is completely wire with chiffon over it, so it fits to every single head size and you can wear it in like a bunch of different ways, which is super cool. And I don't know, I just love it. I've been loving hair accessories because like my hair is at a really, really awkward length and I hate it because it reminds me of a mullet because it is one. Okay, this is my last miscellaneous kind of favorite this month and it is this necklace. Um, it is super, super unique and super cool. It has all of these zodiac signs and a circle and a little like drop, droplet, drop the thing. Um, and it has like a gold chain. This is like my favorite fashion statement piece lately because I've been wearing like a lot more gold. I don't know why. I've just been loving gold. Um, I found this at like an antique store and it was just too weird and crazy. Um, and just like it screamed me like I could not leave the store without buying this. Um, I really want to know like where it came from and stuff. I wonder if I could find that out because that'd be cool if I had some like mysterious backstory. Okay, so the first thing, it's not really my favorite, but I'm not completely in love with it either. It is Too Faced Melted, Melted Villain. Um, this is actually the second one I had to get of this because my first one, it was completely watery. Like it did not have any pigment whatsoever. So I immediately returned it and thankfully this one worked. I'll swatch it. Um, it is really matte. It does stay on like a decent amount of time. It's this one up at the top. Um, but I'm just not all that blown away by it, honestly. Um, when I saw everyone raving and talking about the Too Faced Melted lipsticks, um, I had high expectations. Um, I learned that it separating is a really common problem and especially because you cannot see inside of the bottle you don't know when it's separated so you don't know when to like shake it I don't know I'm like I'm just not completely blown away by this product um, you definitely need a lip liner because this will bleed all over your face and it is not like a stay all day kind of um, deal you do have to reapply throughout the day the next thing I'm really sad about because I was really pumped is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and the name is fucking deceiving. Like this is like a beautiful like pastel coral color that's like pastel but bright. You can't really see it because my skin is really white. Um, but this stuff flakes. Like it starts in like the middle and it like flakes out um, to where it looks like you're wearing like a lip liner that you like your lipstick all wore off um, I'm so disappointed because this color is so beautiful but the formula sucks ass like this was definitely not worth $22 or $21 or however much it was I'm really pissed that I impulse bought this the next thing is this elf felt tip like eyeliner pen um, this eyeliner pin could fucking suck my ass the the point is not pointy enough so you can never ever ever get a fucking precise wing and this is not waterproof uh not at all I was gonna spell not but I was like Ugh. not waterproof like waterproof my fucking ass this wipe got all over my fucking eyes I hate this it was only two dollars but like elf products are generally really awesome because I use a hiccup sorry I use their um, liquid eyeliner so I was like let's try the spell tip eyeliner and it's fucking trash so this month I decided to give some drugstore foundations a try well one drugstore foundation um, the I tried out the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because I've heard some great things about this. Um, everyone fucking raves about it. They're like, why buy, I don't buy drugstore makeup anymore because I found this. Those people are like liars. This offers literally no coverage. Um, 
like no coverage at all it broke me out so bad in two days like I thought I was having an allergic reaction I was breaking out so bad um, this stuff feels it like has the consistency of like water pretty much it is super super thin and like it does dry matte but it's like not that impressive like I don't know why I tried to show that to you because you can't see it because it blends in with my skin it doesn't like feel good on the skin like it feels it doesn't feel like heavy yeah it does it does feel heavy ha me hey it's light feels like water but feels like fucking concrete bricks on your skin like I had to use so much of this to get the coverage that I wanted with my usual foundation that this is not worth like the four dollars or something that it is like please invest in some good foundation instead of putting this shit on your face so the next foundation i tried out i found it at the beauty supply store and it's the tg satin liquid foundation um i thought this was weird that it was on sale when it is an alabaster and that's like the lightest shade and it like no one has like um, alabaster left over. So this is what the foundation looks like when you squirt it out on your skin. It has a really weird disgusting smell that I cannot stand. It kind of smells like sunscreen but it has this like disgusting like gross texture um, and it is so heavy on your skin like it feels like a more cake face makeup. Um, and it definitely does not last all day. Same thing with the Maybelline makeup. This does not last all day. And it like, it just feels cheap and disgusting. Um, I don't really know how to talk about foundations because I've only ever really like had one foundation that I love and I can't like point out exactly what I don't like about this foundation. It just doesn't work for me. Like it comes off on my cheeks and my chin and it makes me look disgusting and I hate it. But yeah, that is all of my favorites and my not so favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to keep your eyes out for my other videos. Um, and if you're not following me already on my other channel, I'll post a link in the description bar below. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it the thumbs up and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you guys want to keep updated with me because I update that a lot more than I update my YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.